You guys might have noticed that I put an awful lot of diamond mountain lions or at least legendary mountain lions into my videos lately. Here I'm going to give you my favorite spots to go and hunt the mountain lion. The mountain lion drinks from 6 till 9 in the morning and uh, what I usually do is that I run towards the lakes where I know they're going to be because as pretty much any of the... Uh, feline predators right now they are kind of broken so if you end up spooking them they're actually just going to stand around for a little before they actually take off so you have quite a bit of time to get up to the uh, lake and to spot around if you do spook them it's fine they seem to be running pretty much around the lakes everywhere that you uh, spook them but if we're lucky we're going to be able to see a lot of them run that way around there there might even be a few down here but right here in the northeast corner if i start my hunt there and run up here i at least get to see three or four mountain lions just running around the entire thing the mountain lion is a class six animal if i remember correct it might actually be five i think it's a six but it is a uh, animal that you can shoot with the 7mm you can shoot it with the 30 out six the m1 and um well there we have them just standing on the other side and drinking got some uh bighorn sheep as well and the ones that i've spooked from over here they're gonna run out there then they're gonna take a turn and go over here i think that one might actually be following a different path but most of them do that when you come running around so um at least you get to see the butt of them and there's another one and another one and they're all they're actually a class 5 animal so i'm telling you all kinds of different things but yeah and if you spot anything that's worth shooting and you end up spooking them, you can always just wait them to return to the, uh, to, wow, to the spots. But it is super, super simple. If you end up spooking them, that one, just gonna take a few more steps and, uh, how many did we spook? Holy, that's, that's a lot. <laughs> Even got some, uh, Roosevelt Elks drinking down there. That's a pretty, that's not Roosevelt Saggy. We're on the Rocky Mountain, but, uh. Hey, I knew that. There we are. That is the path they usually end up taking anyway. But the ones that we spooked that went up there in the woods, they're going to be returning. If um, we found anything like a legendary, I'd probably just sit around here, wait, take a shot, take it down, uh, and go pick it up. Or you could always, as long as you're within the drinking time of the mountain land, you can just fast travel away, check one of the other lakes, come back here, and they should have found their way back to the zone. I think we're going to shoot that one, even though that I think it's just a gray. But um, I'm going to take it down regardless. I actually have the Sullican on me right now because I was hunting Lynx earlier. But um, should be plenty fine to take down. Oh, I missed the sound of the Sullican. Such a good gun. Plenty to take down the Mountain Lion. Uh, definitely not a problem to get that. Uh, I think we saw a good 10 mountain lions run away you could also just be patient walk up here and enter from the south and you shouldn't be spooking too much you could even go into the stand but uh, yeah this lake really really good and as always whenever you spawn in and you change the time give it like five to ten minutes of uh, real life time for the animals actually to settle in at the zones because they might be traveling from somewhere else let's see if we have anything over here could be running off as well that's just bighorn. But let's pick up our uh, female. I'm pretty sure it was a gray. It looked gray to me at least. And this one is not even one of the best lakes for me. But it is a super good lake. And always worth checking. It is a gray. Gray female. That's actually not. I don't know if I have any in the lot. So we're just going to throw it in there. Second spot that I recommend is two fawns. Two fawns is a superior spot, basically for anything up here. You can find the uh, bighorn, you can find the mule deer, um, have some elks around up here, and then mountain goat and mountain lion. And if you are planning to hunt for several hours and you actually want to ha hunt a few different animals, I would always recommend you to start in the drinking time of the mountain lion to go around and kill as many mountain lions as you can Right now, I'm just solely focusing on mountain lions, so it doesn't really matter too much to me. But if you kill the mountain lions, you're not going to have too much of an issue with all of your other animals spooking when they come down to drink. Like the mountain goat uh, drinks from nine-ish, I think. Um, and those are always going to be spooked by resting 
mountain lions in the same time zone. So that's... I try to take all of them out as I see them, just to make sure that, well, I don't really want to be bothered by having fleeing goats everywhere. Also because I find the uh, mountain lion pretty hard to spot when it's just... They usually just lay down and, and sunbathe somewhere, somewhere, and it's just nuts as a... Uh, simple to spot in my opinion but we did see a simple one simple a single one english is hard i speak it i promise but this lake up here has by far been the one where i have found the most legendary mountain lions i don't know if we're gonna find anything uh that big today we did have the five run by but in most of my videos over there is the spot where i find my uh legendary mountain lions and um, they're gonna be all over the the uh, lake as well if you spook them same deal i play a lot by running you can see there is a mountain lion over there spooking everything around it's only a six hard that one's a mythical but the ones that we spook down here usually tends to just run around like all of the others I don't know why it is like that, but um, it definitely makes life a lot easier. Look at that. Two females. Both. And that's what I'm talking about. With them being uh, spooked. They just stand around in the fleeing state for a long time. So we've seen a 5, a 7, a 2, and a 3 to this side of us so far. Um, but the reason why I really love running up to them is that they flee so slow. You're going to be able to easily spot them. And figure out what you want to do if you want to wait for anything or if you just want to take them down if you just want to take them down use the 300 just get rid of them and uh, get on to the actual drinking zone of the uh, mountain goat if that's one you're going to be hunting afterwards but you can see how they're messing with the bighorns all over the place they're going to be fleeing right here we don't really have anything interesting but uh, we could have shot that one right there and uh, I just want to make sure we don't have anything else on the other side. Nah. Looks to be be all we had up here today. But uh, what was that? A good seven mountain lions at least. And I might even spot it or I miss to spot a few when we're doing it like this. But the majority of them usually get spotted. Anyway, on to the next one. Now we jumped a little to the left of two phones. This one is not as good usually, but I have the majority of the ones that I find up here is usually pretty big mountain lion. So I would definitely also recommend checking that out. And uh, it's a really good spot for uh, bighorn and I have mule deers and the uh, rosy. Why do I want to call them rosies? I'm dumb. The rocky mountain elks do hang out up here as well as well as quite a bit of turkeys but i usually find them drinking on this side over here there is one right there and i would imagine us should be at least a few more it's not as good as the other spots as, as i told you but uh, it's definitely always if you know that there's going to be a puma right outside the right outside the outpost you might as well just go ahead and check it out right anything else would be pretty silly and that might actually just be it for today a small level three female but yeah it is basically 200 meters outside the outpost there's no reason to not go out and check it out and now on to my favorite tent on Silver Ridge Peaks. Right here, north of the Sun Sisters. This is also a spot that uh, I love to go to. You should be able to find quite a few mountain lions. I have a tent on the south side of the lake. And uh, I have a tripod set up basically at the water's edge. Usually my favorite spot for uh, bighorn. No, not, well, that too. But uh, mountain Oh, that's a seven and that's a six for uh, the mountain uh, goat. So I try my best to actually take out all of the uh, pumas. We have ended up spooking all of those over there. What? We have two six? No, a six and a seven right there. Um, 
but they can be around the entire lake as well. Let's do a quick spot here. Doesn't seem like we're having very much luck with anything today. No big ones. It's always funny to get a big one if we're doing these kind of guides, so you guys actually believe I know what I'm talking about. Just gonna jump down quickly and take a quick run around here, because if there's something hiding over here, they tend to be fleeing up there as well. So, uh... Definitely a worthy thing to do in times of uh, your time investment into it. It also just only takes one of them to be legendary, right? But yeah, doesn't seem to be the case today, unfortunately. But it's another three mountain lions. And if you have the same tent as I do, it's not really... I'm actually going to try to run away from it. Just to make sure that we don't have any animals that should have spawned in down there that didn't. With me fast traveling. Oh. We actually had two there. Ah well. Doesn't really matter. Anyway, let's just spot the... Uh... There we go. There's a seven basically on the uh... tripod. And some turkeys running off as well. That's a weird bug. I, I don't know if I like that. That the animals just doesn't show up. If you actually fast travel to a tent. And that's the six. But huh. apparently we got the zone of it now. Definitely a, a decent spot for the mountain lion as well. Now on to the last of my favorite ones. This little lake right here between the Lone Island Lake name and the Swiss Valley is insane for mountain goats. But I have also found out it is super good for the mountain lion. And again, I recommend you to just run down here. If you basically just run down right here to where this drink zone is at, you're going to spook all of the ones that is hiding in the uh, bushes down here. And all of them are going to run over here. So at some point, you might have six, seven mountain lions taking a run from this side towards the other side. And while you're seeing all of those run off, you're going to be able to spot the majority of them standing on the other side, just waiting to get shot as well. I have no... Uh, not even BSing you here. I have had 10, 12 mountain lions at this lake it is that good seven eight three it's not even too many who's taking the uh dip from this side today but um yeah if you spook them from over here they're gonna run up around here and start being uh unspooked and you'll be able to have a good time spotting them easy peasy and then you spot this side it's another gray one, I think. I'm not sure. We're probably going to have to shoot it to make sure it is a uh, gray one and not an albino. But look at this. That's five just standing over there. And this is me just taking a quick tour around. It's not like I'm spending insane amount of time trying to spot everything to make sure that we're not losing out on anything. I am legitimately just showing you the very, very best spots that I have. And um, I'm going to take that one out right there to make sure that it is not an albino. Let's see here. So we spooked any of the other ones. Oh, it's just attentive. It doesn't even give a damn. And there is the ones that we ended up spooking. They're just going to be uh, walking around on the other side now. Easy pickings for the uh, 30 odd 6 of the M1 right there. Or the 6.5, if you're one of those guys. Even have some... Uh... Oh, that's a wide boy. Rocky Mountain Elks. Some Mountain Goats. All oh, those are going to go down here and drink later. Of the Mountain Goats, at least. But that is also why you really want to get rid of all the Mountain Lions early in the day. Hey, okay, let's just jump down here. Nobody saw that. And go and pick it up. I am going to leave a map in my Discord. Where um, basically I will give you a quick rundown of what you need to do. What time a day you start. And then just, well, basically 
the lakes that we have been visiting here so uh, you can get a quick overview so you don't have to go back to this video every time you want to see the best zones it is going to be in the discord link is down in the description below but look at this another gray one a uh, level six gray puma no well mountain lion to end it all with i hope you have luck here please if you have any spots that you feel like i forgot in terms of mountain lion hunting drop it in the comments down below i'd love to hear it and uh, if you've had any luck with them let me know which one did work out best for you thank you so very much for watching